In these news flashes from the world of kids, let's start at the very beginning. Here's a young victim of a housing shortage. Despite his early age, he's already gone to the dogs. Don't be too hasty, fellas. Save one here for supper. Now let's turn to a more important news flash. In fact, you couldn't get more important than Christmas. Everything starts out enough, and then somehow the toys get out of hand. As everywhere else in the world of kids, movies mean fun and entertainment. Here, under the direction of cameraman Charlie Moore, a company is filming a cap pistol epic. In the old Wild West, things were mighty rugged, partner. They ride tall in the saddle, and although the cowpunchers may be junior, the spills are senior size. Don't forget your hat. That steer can't intimidate you, son. Look him straight in the eye. This fellow may be a tough cowpoke, but he's still daddy's little boy. If there are any duffers in the audience, we'd advise them to close their eyes. They're going to feel mighty small after watching these guppy-sized golfers in action. Some of the youngsters are scarcely bigger than the tees, but brother, can they wallop that ball? On the final hole, this championship match really gets hot. The golfer who can beat little Oscar, however, well, he hasn't been born yet. When tiny 10-pin titans all the excitement's enough to bowl you over. This is the only bowling tournament where the pins weigh more than the contestants. Herman seems a bit overconfident. By gum, he's right. Okay, Herman, applaud all you want to. Demonstration of the manly art of self-defense, somebody forgot to bring along the men. It's battling Benny versus walloping Walter in a bout that quickly comes to a shattering climax. Up and at him, slugger. He went that away. Here's another flea weight thriller. The only trouble these diminutive Dempseys have with their feet is staying on them. Presenting the blindfold test with enough wild swings to churn up a hurricane. Willie has just got a pinch. Mom, you made the pinch too wide. If it's football you're after, try the Pamplum Bowl, where Army and Navy are battling it out. Now a touchdown run by that grand old Army team, the PS38 Army, that is. The ball goes to the Navy's ferocious Ferdinand, most elusive football star in America, under 50 pounds. A sizzling Navy pass sails to completion. It's a glorious victory for the battling Navy of PS93. At the Little League World Series, it's the kids who charge onto the field and the adults who do the peeking through knot holes. Here's a play at first. The umpire says, you're out. And the crowd, Ooh! A solid hit sends two runs galloping home on this diamond, which is two-thirds big league size. That spells victory for the New Jersey Nine. In their dugout, delirium breaks loose. But, oh, somewhere kids are laughing. They're winning praise and fame. But there is no joy for these kids. Florida lost the game. Each year, the Soapbox Derby pits daredevil drivers in sleek cars that have all the latest improvements, except motors. 
Down the slanting speedway they roll at a burning 30 miles an hour. One racer swerves out of control. This derby has a bang up finish. Add motors and you've got an infant Indianapolis. These girls and boys must have started driving in engine-powered cradles. Now they're off to swerve, skid, and jockey for position around a dirt track like hard-bitten veterans. Look who sharpshooter Bob Foster's got for a target. Yep, it's Dad. Here's one tribulation of parenthood that most of us never even thought of. Does your cigarette taste different lately? At Sun Valley, skiers come in all sizes. This is a small trial size, slipping by in a slalom. In the ski jump, the youngsters grab themselves a handful of sky and sometimes a seat full of snow. Take away the snow, add some water, and you've got the specialty of four-year-old Nye Orsi Jr. In the water baby department, scientists of the slippery springboard compete for the belly whopper championship. at the prize. Meet diving star Jack Pilon Jr. Head up, Jackie. Low bridge. Jackie has been diving since he was nine months old. This is how far practice will get you by the time you're one. The 22-foot board. Why, four-year-old Bubber Tongue uses that just for warming up. Here's what Bubber calls a dive, 33 feet from high chair to the wet blue yonder. The smaller they are, the more graceful they fall. The kids can camera goes to a performance of Punch and Judy, where hidden from view, it records some uninhibited reactions. Punch and Judy work with might and main, but it's the kids who steal the show. Now the candid camera catches the poignant story of childhood's first haircut. The bet is in full cry, and that doesn't reassure the other kids one bit. No, it doesn't hurt, but it's awfully lonely in that big barber's chair. Shirley would rather part with her dolls than those curls. Who's next? <laughs> there, there now. Thank goodness it's all over. Our cameraman couldn't stand it another second. And so, through a veil of tears, he bit a fall. 